Hello, guys! Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Star Flames. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe to my channel, turn on your notification bell, and join the family. In this video, guys, we're gonna talk about the internet wondering why it is that Didi not yet arrested because seems as though many people are truly not paying attention. We're gonna talk about that also. We're going to talk about, it seems as though the pressures of Didi is crumbling young Miami, or it could be that she might be in trouble alongside him. But let's get into it, shall we? Now, first, let's talk about what is going on with young Miami, because I believe it was two days ago that we saw Saucy Santana shared a video wherein he was doing Young Miami's makeup. The end result was gorgeous, very beautiful. But what many people observed is that Young Miami looked rather sad, as though something was seriously, you know, taking a toll on her mentally and emotionally. And so many people were in the comments saying that she looks really sad. You can tell that something is going on with her. Now, if you're not aware, she was named in the lawsuit that Little Rod filed against Diddy. Since then, Tyrone Blackburn is facing potential, you know, um, backlash from the court because of that one, which may potentially, potentially see him maybe losing his license or not being able to practice in some states. Don't know the end results of that as yet, but they were more leaning towards having some type of sanction against him. No, I'm just putting that out there so that you guys know what is going on. But in that lawsuit, Young Miami was named. No, I honestly believe that, you know, Young Miami troubles is not that of hers, but that of Diddy. Because remember that she's so in love with this man. Whenever Diddy would put her on pause, we would see her on the internet going off, venting, saying that she's going to stay single. This minute she would say she's done with him. The next minute you see them together, you know, because the last time we heard that they separated, we saw them at the Met Gala. And then after that, they were good again. But it seems as though Didi is being so burdened down with his own personal serious problems that, you know, Young Miami might potentially getting the back end of that and may not know how to deal with it. Because remember, she told us that we're going to see her and Didi walking down the aisle. This girl had plans to be with this man potentially for the rest of her life, if not, if not for quite a number of years. But that is all being shattered now. So I think that what is going on, she's losing ga gravity and cannot find balance at this point because she really looked unhappy in that video but moving on to Diddy because many people are saying that they're truly sad to see that he's not behind bars it, irrespective of the amount of information that is out there about him no this is what I want to say to you guys what we as content creators say about him is one thing and the physical evidence that the feds have on him is completely a total different thing. And if you guys have been paying attention, Sloan Bella told us that politicians are involved. Namely, she said Obama is the reason why Didi is not yet behind bars. And if you guys remember, when his home was raided back in March, I think that was what, March 25th, 24th, somewhere there, Candace Owens told us that Homeland Security did not go in there to find information on Diddy. They went in there to secure the information that Diddy had on other people. And since that home raid, we've heard that T.D. Jakes had stepped down. We've heard that T.D. Jakes has involvement with Diddy and his, you know, schemes that he has going on. And one thing that I can tell you for a fact is that wherever there are allegations of sex trafficking, human trafficking, remember this, always pastors or ministers of religion are always involved, politicians are always involved, police are always involved. So what they're basically doing at this time is to clear, you know, because remember, Diddy has 
three handlers. They have to ensure that they are cleared. The little people that are on their payroll are cleared because their focus is to take down Diddy. So they want to get everyone cleared before they can actually move in, pull in all the evidence they have on him, have him arrested. But I don't think that Diddy is going to go down that easy. I do believe that he has a lot more than what we think he has up his sleeves. And I believe that he's ready to take quite a few people down with him. So as such, I think that everything is a calculated move at this point. So it's going to take a little while before we hear that this man is ever arrested. I believe it's going to take quite some time because if you remember, Kim Porter was working with international authorities. She was working with them to take this man down because she did not trust the local authorities because she knew that they were on his payroll. So it says a lot about what is happening today. So it's definitely going to take some time. And I do believe that he has people feeding back information to him. But in time, everything, I believe, honestly, we're going to see more cases coming forward against him. And I think that the cases that we're going to see going forward, these are going to be really, really solid to that of Cassie's case that she had filed against him back in November of last year. But that's just my take for this video. Let me know what are your thoughts while you're at it. Give this video a big thumbs up. Share if you care. See you guys later. Bye, guys.